So if anybody likes this cardigan, I will happily post it to you. You've got to be quite ruthless doing this. It's definitely not hot enough for this one at the moment. Hi, I'm Jess. Welcome to this edition where I'll be showing you how to create the perfect capsule wardrobe for this winter 2020. As some of you may know, we've just moved house. It's chaos. There's boxes everywhere. But the one thing it has done has made me realize I have got way too many clothes on my rail at the moment. Believe it or not, this is actually the edited version as I've already put my summer outfits up in storage in the attic. So what I really want to do is break down this collection much, much more to just those key pieces I'll be wearing this winter. It also really forces you to be more considered with your shopping. So once I've edited all of this down, I'll be able to see where the holes are, what I'm missing, what I need to buy, and equally, probably, what I've got an abundance of and I definitely don't need to buy anymore. So all in all, it's a really therapeutic exercise. It's kind of like tidy wardrobe, tidy mind. So that's the point that I want to get to. Before I move on, if you're not already subscribed, it would be great if you could do so and press the little bell button beside it, which will just notify you every time I upload a new video. Right, let's get cracking. Now I like to start with the items I seem to wear the most, those items that I reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. My typical style is a t-shirt, nice pair of jeans, ankle boots, and a blazer or a jacket. So those are the pieces I tend to have more of in my capsule wardrobe, so it's a good place to start. Okay, so let's get a couple of these off because this is what I live in. So simple white t-shirt, simple black t-shirt. These two came from Everlane. Excuse the fact they're not ironed. I can't find the iron just yet. It's buried in a box somewhere. But I've got those as long sleeves, short sleeves. I've got a couple from Organic Basics and some from Topshop and Superdry, I think, were a good one for t-shirts. The other thing I tend to wear underneath my blazers or jackets, particularly when it's a little bit chillier, is just a simple cashmere crew neck. Now I've got a couple of these from Everlane. Marks and Spencers do some really nice ones as well. I will pop some links in the description below. These sort of items are priceless because they mix and match with pretty much everything I've got on the rail. Now I definitely need to make some space down here and I can already see that there's some very summery items that I love, I don't want to get rid of, I don't want to chuck them away, but there's no point having that in my winter capsule wardrobe as pretty as it is. So that one is going to go. Let's chuck that over there. And not the right season. One of my favorite purchases of spring summer 19 was this dress from Mes Demoiselles, a Parisian brand which I absolutely love. They have the most beautiful collection. However, it's definitely not hot enough for this one at the moment. So I am going to put it into storage ready for summer. You've got to be quite ruthless doing this because otherwise you won't get rid of very much. Because you're aiming to have a really nice clean rail that is just the items you are going to reach for throughout winter on a day-to-day -day basis. Anything else, anything that's slightly summery is just gonna confuse matters and make getting dressed every morning so much harder. So I've got a collection of t-shirts that I can mix and match with and equally when it's a bit colder, my cashmere crew necks. Now on two jumpers because it does get really cold in this country and the reality is it's something I wear an awful lot. I wouldn't say it's my favourite fashion statement whatsoever but it's practical. So I'm going to be practical. Now some of my favourite jumpers I got recently was this one from Duffy New York. I absolutely love this shade of blue and of course blue is going to be one of the big trends as we move forward to spring summer 20. So not only does it feel on trend but it's also super cosy as well so definitely keeping that. Another chunky knit that I feel is really still on trend is this one with the pointel detail that came from Cezanne. And I like styling that just with a pair of jeans, tucking it in, and sometimes adding a blazer on top if I need a bit of extra warmth. I can't do plastic hangers, they make me feel a little bit ill. So that's going. Again, a really lovely tone with this dusky pink that came from Repeat Cashmere. This is lasting really well, actually. As you can see, it's not really bobbling whatsoever, which is always the bugbear with cashmere. Now this one here is gonna go into the donate pile. And my reason being is because if I'm being really ruthless with myself and my clothes collection, I've not worn this enough to have it on the rail. Although I chose this myself from Everlane when I did a haul a couple of months ago, I don't think the color actually suits me. It's just a bit too pink for me, whereas I think this one 
is a softer pink and the tone works nicely against my skin. So I need to be ruthless. I need to get some of the stuff off this rail. And I really want to have a really tight capsule wardrobe. So if anybody likes this cardigan, I will happily post it to you. It is an extra small. It's only been worn a couple of times, so it seems a real shame to waste it. So if that is someone's cup of tea, let me know in the comment section and I will happily donate it to you and it can have a new lease of life in somebody else's home. An Ian Bing cardigan gets an awful lot of use, so that is definitely going on the keep pile. Now, when you get to something in your wardrobe that you're kind of on the fence about, which I am with this Reese jumper, it's helpful to put it in a maybe pile because once you've created your capsule wardrobe, you can then look at it as a whole, go back to that maybe pile and think, okay, do I need it? Is there a gap for another blue jumper? And the answer I already know is probably not. Now I've got five jumpers on the rail already. I haven't got a tone of camel, so I can definitely add this one in. This is one that I tend to wear an awful lot, as you've probably gathered in my videos. It is a cardigan. I sometimes wear it as a jumper. I adore that tone of camel, and it's from one of my favorite collections, Cezanne. It's definitely in the keep section. When creating your capsule wardrobe, I think you naturally reach for your favorite pieces first. So if you've got to kind of five, six jumpers, you're not really going to need any more than that. And I think even subconsciously, you've probably already picked your favorites, so you don't need the other ones that are on the rail. This is really quite a satisfying exercise. Just that feeling of clearing out, making some space. I'm quite enjoying this. Okay, so onto jackets stroke blazers because as I said, that would be part of my everyday kind of wardrobe. So this denim jacket is called the Wheel Jacket. It's one of their best selling pieces that they bring out time and time again. I really like styling it very simple, probably a little bit French with just a crisp white shirt and a nice pair of jeans. In fact, let me just show you that on so you can see what I'm on about. But yeah, just styling it really simple. I've got a black t-shirt, black jeans, and black ankle boots. Suddenly, by putting this jacket on top, it just elevates the whole look, makes me feel polished and finished, um, and yeah, it's really comfortable as well. I would probably just style it with this giant stole that I got from Everlane. Absolutely love this color, which I think was called cider. So yeah, I'd probably layer it, something like that, making it super toasty around the neck, and obviously wear the sleeves down if I'm out and it's cold. Coupal's blazer has definitely had its cost per wear already, so that is a nice addition. If you see my Instagram page, you will know that this leather jacket gets an awful lot of outings. So that's an item I tend to reach for, definitely on a weekly basis, sometimes on a daily basis. That's nice for when I need to be a little bit smarter, or if I'm going to meetings, I tend to wear that one rather than a denim jacket. Lovely, but wrong season. This one I've decided is a little bit too big for me. I wanted it oversized, I've worn it an awful lot. So if anybody wants this blazer, again, let me know in the comments section. It's the redone giveaway. It does say it's a European small, USA small, roll back sleeves there. I like it, it's nice, and I think it's on trend and it's cool, but I think it's just a little bit big for me. So going in the donate pile if anybody wants it. So on the rail at the minute, I've got herringbone, I've got a denim jacket, I've got black, I've got a leather jacket, and I've got a smart one. I am gonna add one more blazer because the 70s trend is obviously really big at the moment. This is a velvet jacket I actually bought on eBay for next to nothing. So that is gonna go on the capsule rail. So you're aiming for between 20 and 50 pieces in your capsule wardrobe, and that's including accessories. So it is quite tough, but honestly, when you've done it, it will be so much easier to get dressed every morning. It really does simplify your life and make putting outfits together so much easier. So it's really worth the effort. Onto shirts and blouses, this one is made from 100% linen, so I'd say that's definitely going in my spring summer pile. But I will keep the lovely cotton one that I got from Everlane because I do tend to wear that a lot. Now, although I said it's good to have pieces that will mix and match with lots of others in your wardrobe, I do tend to keep the odd statement piece. So that blouse that I got from Pyrus is definitely one of those for me. And another one would be this cardigan that I got from Alan Beaker. I'm going to try and get it down to five or six blouses and shirts. Uh, so I've got three already. I 
I find it really hard to put anything from Suzanne into storage because I love the collection but it would be really silly of me to keep a short sleeved thin cotton blouse in my winter capsule wardrobe so that one's going to go to one side. Okay, so down to the last two, and as these are really similar, I'm going to choose between them. This one came from Iris and Ink, and it's got the bow at the neck. And this one came from Cos, and it's got this lovely shoulder detail. I think between the two, I probably get the most wear out of this one, particularly at the moment because of that 70s trend, but also that bow blouse, which we're seeing loads of, and I really, really love at the moment. Not going to a ball anytime soon, so that one can go into storage. Empty clothes bag, not very helpful. So onto jeans, and as I tend to live in jeans, pretty much whether it's summer or winter, that's probably somewhere where I'll keep one of each colour, a straight, a skinny, a boyfriend shape, um, just so I've got lots of versatility to go with all those lovely blouses, t-shirts, crew necks and jumpers that I've kept on my winter capsule wardrobe. So I'll be keeping these black skinnies which I just got from Suzanne and I absolutely love them, perfect fit. My favourite blue skinnies are from Gap, so I'm going to keep those. Boyfriend jeans came from Mango. Straight jeans I wear an awful lot came from Monkey. And a pair of cord flares that came from Massimo Dutti. Now, as you'll see, I haven't got any skirts but this one. Um, I tend to fold little bits of cardboard over a skirt just so I don't make awful indentations in the fabric. I don't really reach for skirts very often. Um, it's just not part of my usual everyday wardrobe. I'm going to stick it in as more of a statement piece, something that I'll reach for occasionally. Um, I've only got three statement pieces in there at the moment, so I don't feel like I'm overloading it, but it's nice to have at least a couple of skirts. Okay, so onto dresses. I've already got rid of lots of the very summery ones. I'm definitely going to keep this one in my capsule wardrobe because it is that perfect shade of blue for this season. Um, so then it's down to these two. Um, that one is a very slinky number that came from Reese. I will pop in the description below some of my favorite dresses uh, at Reese at the moment because I think they are one of the best places for dresses, particularly going out dresses or a special event. But I am gonna put that one to one side because I feel like I'd probably wear that more in spring, summer. This one is my old faithful Diamond von Furstenberg dress. It's very much a summer dress, but I love it so much that in winter I tend to just wear it with a pair of tights, sometimes even with a vest top underneath to keep me a little bit warmer. I've only got two dresses on there, that's okay. I can squeeze another one. When it comes to handbags, I tend to keep all my structured handbags in my capsule wardrobe because I do change them pretty much on a daily basis. So this lovely one came from Saint Laurent. You've probably seen on my Instagram, I use that one an awful lot. It's a great everyday kind of bag. It's probably a spring summer bag, but I really love it. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. My lovely statement handbag is definitely staying in the capsule wardrobe. But then I think I don't need this one as well because not only is it the same shape as my Hermes, but it's also pretty much the same color. So I'm gonna be really good about this and put that to one side. Mulberry handbag looking a little bit worse for wear. I think I'm going to take that to a repair shop and get a couple of things fixed on it and get it spruced up a little bit. So that can definitely go to one side to be sorted. My tote shopper from Everlane is very handy. Onto shoes, it's nice to have a good pair of knee-high boots, particularly for this season. Although I love my loafers, it's a little bit cold to wear them now, I get very cold feet. Always keep a pair of trainers in my capsule wardrobe. These ones are from Golden Goose. Always handy to keep a classic pair of courts. Um, these ones are quite pointed toe, but I really like that with some of those lovely long trousers or even with the DVF dress, I think it looks nice. So definitely keep your favorite pair of heels in there so that you can dress up most of these outfits. Am I allowed two pairs of heels? High boots for when I need to elongate my shape a little bit, give myself a bit more height. These ones came from Sargosa. Okay, I'm gonna count up my pieces and see how well I've done. Okay, so I think I have just about managed to do it. It comes to 42 pieces, including all the accessories, the shoes, the handbags, and the blazer, t-shirt, jeans, and ankle boots that I'm wearing. 
I feel so much better. I highly recommend you do this yourself with your own winter wardrobe. It's gonna make getting ready in the morning so much easier and I can really see everything I've got now, appreciate the clothes I've got so much more, but also I can see what I need to go shopping for and what I'm missing. So do let me know your thoughts on my capsule wardrobe. Maybe there's some pieces that I put in my maybe pile you think I should absolutely have on my rail. Or maybe you've got some tips about how you created your own capsule wardrobe that one of the other subscribers would find really helpful. It's always lovely to hear your thoughts. Don't forget as well, if anybody wants those items that I'm donating, do let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to post those out to you. If you're not already subscribed, it would be lovely if you could do so. And also you can find me over on Instagram at Fashion and Style Edit, where I tend to, most of the time, post daily pictures of my outfit. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you found this helpful and I shall see you next week with another fashion video. Take care.